Hi, I'm Maria, and I'm playing Jess. And I am Mike, and I'm playing Ben. <laughs> Writing Ben and Jess, I didn't want to just focus on Jess's loss. Jess's little sister was murdered. And I didn't want to focus on the sadness and the pain that you go through when a tragic event like that happens. Life keeps going whether you want it or not. Jess has to deal with her mother. Mamita is coping her own way, and we see that. You lose somebody, it's so hard no matter how you slice it. So I'd like for the audience to walk away knowing that it's not easy, but you need to be able to put closure on it and um, just keep their memories alive. Jess also deals with her best friend, Ben. And they've known each other since they were kids, but now, at this moment, Ben decides to tell her he loves her. Jess is definitely not just a friend to Ben after a while, but he knows that friendship is what keeps her close, and he genuinely cares about her. Jess is also trying to cope herself. She's determined to find the killer of her sister and will stop at nothing until she gets that closure. I promise I'm gonna find the guy who did this and he's gonna pay for what he did. It's about that journey of getting through the loss, the pain, the hurt, the, you know, getting yourself up, building yourself back up. Will there be any hope? And then you get hope, and then yeah. it's like, will I smile again? And then you do smile, and then it's yeah. like, will I fall in love? And then you do fall in love. Right. This is what that's about. How do you, like, create that hope in someone? You can't teach it. You can You can only inspire hope, and that's mm -hmm. it. So it's like, how do you inspire someone to do it through this? It's crazy how now when I tell someone about the play, what it's about, they're like, oh my god, someone, I know someone whose child passed, and now everyone's trying to like, tell me how they feel, and, and what their story is, and I feel like now it's my duty to kind of put this play up, and yeah. really just give a voice to all those people That's that right. have lost someone. 